we go to buy books in Liyue? Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. <sighs> but the Monster volume was so interesting! Bummer. The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse Village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? My pleasure, fellow book lover! Auto reconfiguration is an essential function. Limbs are a requirement for locomotion. Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! So, are you buying or not? Heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard 
we've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leoy volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them, and now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> it's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean... you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang! You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again? But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in <laughs> this day and age. <laughs> oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had killed over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, uh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, 
Vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. Now I can get back everything I lost. Reading, huh, Mr. Five Second Hero? Ho oh, ho, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello, Shincho? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. Get me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I'm in every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Guhua clan. That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon! Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> It's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all. But you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. <laughs> Caught you in mind. Over here. <laughs> I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision! You won this round, but you better watch your back! This isn't over! Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? 
Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business. And I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute. But the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. He mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works. But what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, so that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh, this guy is so annoying! Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face! <laughs> Fine. But, as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known as... Guhua Geek! 